seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, guys? It's Clutch here, and Timmy here, back with another video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Houston Texans. And there was a recent development over D'Amico Ryan's and his Texans head coaching possibilities. And Aaron Wilson, he's a writer and a, like an insider for the Houston Texans. He recently said that D'Amico Ryan's is leaning towards accepting the Texans interview. And I mean, obviously, I don't think it means a whole lot too much. I'm sure he just wants to get more interviews under his name, more possibilities. But then at the same time, it kind of does. Because at first, it was rumored that he has no likelihood or no interest or possibilities of accepting this Houston Texans job and then now it comes out that he's leaning towards accepting it I definitely think it does mean something and considering that the recent rumors of Nick Casario and how he may have to relieve some power and maybe even uh, be relieved of his responsibilities as GM if a new head coach comes in and wants that so I do think there's a little bit of a possibility we could see something in that range I'm not sure if Nick would all in all, part ways with the Texans, or if he would reduce his role a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how that would work, but it's definitely something interesting and to keep an eye out on if D'Amico Ryans does indeed come in and take this interview. It's probably like an 85% chance he's going to interview at this point. I mean, of course, Aaron Wilson said it. Uh, Ian Rappaport said something that they have a little bit of a mutual interest. Aaron, I think... Adam Schefter had two as well, or at least he said something in an article that Houston has him top on their priority list for the head coaching search. But yeah, I think that's a very interesting new development. Again, it could mean a lot of stuff in terms of Nick Casario. It could mean maybe he takes a, a little bit of a lesser role. He still has that GM title, of course, but he leaves a lot of responsibilities to D'Amico. I'm sure that's what he would want in taking a head coaching job. I mean, that's what a lot of head coaches would want. But uh, yeah, it's a very, very interesting thing to look at, specifically from that point. I mean, if you do hire D'Amico and you do have to fire slash part ways with Nick Casario, who are you going to hire as GM? With free agency just a little bit under two months away, I mean, you're going to have to do a lot of things. Hire a GM, hire a director of personnel, hire a lot of different things just because of the head coach. I mean, D'Amico, we haven't even seen him as a head coach yet, so... Is he for sure would be worth it? I'm not sure. I mean, it's just, if based on his defensive coordinator job in San Francisco, it does seem like he would be worth it. He's done a lot of great things for that organization, that franchise, that defense. They were first in a lot of defensive stats. Uh, first in, I think, yards allowed. First in uh, passing yards allowed. Stuff like that. A lot of different statistics. So I think if Houston does go ahead and manages to get D'Amico Ryans, it will definitely be a great upgrade to our defense, a great upgrade to our team, great upgrade into our moralship on the team. So, I mean, yeah, I think it would be a home run higher. But the thing is, would you want to risk firing slash reducing your GM's role? If he's reducing his role, I'm all for it. I mean, you're going to get an A-plus potential head coach while just making your GM do a little bit less responsibilities. I'm for sure doing it. But if it means you have to fire Nick Casario... Like, I'm not the highest guy on Nick Casario, but firing a GM when you're, what, like, pretty much 10 toes down into a, into a head coaching search, I'm not sure that's the right move. But it's going to be interesting to see from the Texan standpoint, do they want to continue on believing in Nick, which, I mean, Cal has said it. But, yeah, that's just a very, very interesting to look at. But, yeah, pretty much the point of the video. So he's... Probably going to be expected to interview at this point now. And it's going to mean a lot for Nick Casario's future. What are y'all guys' thoughts down below in the comments? Do y'all think we should relieve Nick of his duties? If uh, if D'Amico Ryans comes to Houston, do you think we should, I guess, quiet his duties a little bit or fire him? What do you guys think? But yeah, leave y'all's thoughts down below in the comments. And it's been Clutch CD Entertainment out. Peace.